Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another vintage collection action figure review. If you'd follow me on Instagram, I literally just posted uh, five new figures that came in today. I'm really excited, I can't wait to get these open and reviewed and just talk about them. So I'm starting off with the Big Bang, the Darth Vader based on Obi-Wan Kenobi. Also the Dark Times, which is a really cool um, little heading they've put on there. Uh, really calls back to the comics. Uh, the old Dark Times comics, and I'm saying, like, I've seen other people's reviews, and, you know, I spent a little bit of time playing with my um, Rogue One Vader recently, and uh, I'm looking forward to putting these two together and sort of seeing how they're different. I'm not going to do it in the video, because I'm just literally going to talk about this, this figure, um, but this is one I would like to get a second one of, because this card back is just amazing. Darth Vader just was at his absolute peak best in Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, so yeah, this is VC241. Um, Boba Fett Morak, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, and the Mandalorian Super Commando are ones I'm still hunting for. 332nd, I'll probably give a miss, um, possibly. And, uh, you know, undecided about Anakin, but I do... I do like the Anakin, so we're going to get straight into it and open it up. So I'm going to do it on camera. I'm going to rip that card back open. Let's have fun with this figure, hey? I'm pretty keen. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. It's like a new sculpt on the lightsaber hilt here, which looks really nice. I'm actually going to bring the camera in a little bit tighter, just so I can get a bit better light on it. So having the peg up on the hilt there is nice. It'll slot onto his belt, I'm sure. And probably one of the better aspects of this figure is the fact that it does come with swap out hands, which, you know, is something not even the new Black Series one has. And, you know, to have Vader with a fisted hand like this is just, that's exactly what we want as collectors. So. To the team that's sorting out vintage collection at the moment, doing a really good job. All right, baby, come on. Get, let's get out of there. Let's get that rubbish out of the way. So, yeah, lightsaber. You know, I dare say this is probably not a new sculpt, but uh, very well could be. But uh, here we have the Dark Lord himself. Now there is, you know, the, the Rogue One Vader that came out a year or so, year or two ago. Um, yeah, to this day, still one of the best Vaders. Uh, probably the Revenge of the Sith one that came out in the Black Series, three and three quarter inch line back in 2013, 14. Um, that's up there as well. But uh, I don't know, there's something about this one. You know, it's a new head sculpt. It looks... Absolutely fantastic. Plenty of movement there. I love the sort of... There's a gloss to the lenses of his eyes that just... You know, it shines where the helmet doesn't. You know, this helmet's, you know, it's shiny. But, you know, those they've put a nice gloss on those eye lenses. And it just reflects the light so well. It is absolutely stunning. Like just looking at him here, he's just such an imposing looking character. The fact that the, uh, I love what they've done with the sort of chest armor piece at the shoulders there. You know, we've always had Vader with these sort of shoulder pads separate. Um, when it is in fact, you know, one solid piece. So it really, really works. And it's, and it's in a soft material, so it's, not going to get in the way too much. Not that you're going to have Darth Vader doing too much aerobic stuff. Um, but yeah, this is... Oh, I'm, I'm really, really stoked with this figure. He looks fantastic. So I just I just can't stop looking at him from front on. I think he's absolutely incredible. I'm going to try and get him on one of these stands just so I can have him stood back a little bit. This one's a bit too thick. I've got a skinnier one here. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, just so I can stand him up and have a good look. 
really nice sculpt throughout the figure. There is indeed a peg hole. Put his lightsaber in there, that looks good. Looks really good. Definitely keen to scope out the articulation, great. Nice bend on the elbows there, that's good. Good movement on the wrists. Wrist joints, looks nice. So you're definitely going to get this guy in some sweet poses. And to be honest, I think they've sort of found the nice balance between where to use soft goods, where not to. Um, I guess it all depends on the certain on the type of Vader you've got, where he's from. Um, you know, he's a slightly different outfit from A New Hope, where the uh, tabards go sort of over the over the armor. So it's, it changes on any given day. It depends what order he gets dressed in. But yeah, I just want to sort of see how quick, how easily these hands are removed. Put the fist in there. Yes, that is amazing. I love that. That's so good. Oh, I'm blown away. And then we have his little force pinching hand, force choke. So you can use that as well, but I'm going to just keep him like this for the moment. That is absolutely elite standard three and three quarter inch action figure. Paints clean, the sculpts beautiful. The soft goods are done nicely. Um, accessories are good, you know. Switch out hands. More of that, please, Hasbro. Come on. You know we're 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 probably happier to pay the prices that are going up constantly. Um, if we're getting a little bit more bang for our buck, honestly, that's that's kind of how I'm feeling at the moment. Nice material on the soft goods there. Just a extremely, extremely good action figure right here. This could be my favorite Vader. Ever. And so it should be in three and three quarter inch. It's, it's, this is how it should be. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful figure. Um, makes me gonna wanna go watch Obi-Wan again. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, please. Well, I love that they're still sort of painted the sort of almost gunmetal gray accents on some of the, some of the sides of his helmet, like on the cheekbone, um, sort of upper cheekbone there. And the sort of side of the of the breath thing <laughs> filter, um, yeah, they did that in the actual movie just because it photographed better. It just too much black got lost and it didn't really pop. But it was sort of an artificial reflection, I guess, for for lighting. So that worked out really, really well. I love that they carried it over onto the figure. So there is Darth Vader. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I'm going to give myself a thumbs up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll be back soon with some more action figure reviews. Uh, these will be coming out daily, so stay tuned. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. May the Force be with you.